So I read this article on CNN that has to be the most delusional article that I've ever read. It's so crazy to me to watch mainstream media now get behind Donald Trump and try to do damage control for him. But folks, this headline is on a whole nother level. Take a look at this. Trump has long been criticized for his public treatment of women. The ones in his life argue he's different in private. Now, that is not the flex that they think it is, and I'm going to explain why here in a minute, but the article goes on to talk about how that at the RNC, they were trying to change the narrative of Trump's treatment toward women by having Alina Hobbit get up there and call him her friend and say how supportive he was of her in private and how much he had encouraged her to keep going and, and be her true self. And uh, Don Jr.'s daughter got up there and talked about what a great grandfather he was and how she sees a side of him as a grandfather that the media never sees and the rest of us never sees. And Sarah Huckabee Sanders did the same thing. So many of them did. And it's just not the flex that they think it is. And here's why. Folks, serial killers' family will say the same thing, okay? I have studied, I don't know how many countless serial killers in my life, read books, listen to podcasts, watch every documentary I could find. And the one that truly fascinated me the most was the BTK, uh, Dennis Rader. That guy's story was over the top sickening. The things this man did was just over the top sickening. But what was really disturbing about Dennis Rader was that he was a good dad. What was disturbing about Dennis Rader is that he absolutely was a member of the church. He was a member of the community. Everybody loved him. Kids stayed over at his house. He had cookouts for the kids in the neighborhood. They all came over. And he actually prayed with them in church that they would find the BTK. And one time, the BTK struck just right down the road from where they lived and ended up killing their neighbor, a neighbor that they had walked past several times and, and knew very well. The daughter remembered walking past this neighbor and her dad stopping and talking to the neighbor at, at the fence and talking about how he really hoped they found the BTK. So when this happened, the daughter was extremely upset. And she said that Dennis Rader came in, sat down on the side of the bed beside of her and was like, listen, you ain't got nothing to worry about, okay? Because we have a great home security system here. I've got weapons to defend us. And besides, serial killers like this, they never hit the same street twice. He's not going to come back here because the police are staked out looking for him. They're combing the area for him now. So he's never going to get here again. And she talked about how that he comforted her in that moment. And when one day the police knocked on her door and said, is your father Dennis Rader? And they informed her that he was the BTK. She went completely numb. She couldn't believe what it was that she was hearing. And so to come out and say that, oh, Trump treats women different in private, man. That's not the flex you think it is. Because the same could be said about Dennis Rader. The same could be said about a whole lot of people. It's just not the flex they think it was. And no matter how much they try to do damage control, we always have the receipts. We can bring the receipts and we can show you Trump's treatment of women. We can show you how he talks to women. And we can point out all the things that he's been found liable for. We can point all of those things out, no matter what. And on another note, for everyone that says, well, he's a different man in private. Okay, in public... This is the hill he chose to die on. In public, he had no problem defaming a woman who he was found liable for abusing. He had no problem defaming her in public. He had no problem, he had no problem whatsoever mocking and humiliating Stormy Daniels in public. He had no problem bragging about groping women in public. He had no problem going on Howard Stern and making all the jokes with Howard Stern. He had no problem saying that he wouldn't mind to sleep with his own daughter if they weren't dating, okay? He had no problem saying all of those things in public, so it does not matter if he's a nice guy behind the scenes because in public, that's the hill he was willing to die on. One of my biggest pet peeves is when someone says, hey, man, he's a really nice guy once you get to know him. He's just like that on the Internet, man. He just likes to troll people on the Internet, but he's really good dude once you get to know him. If he's willing to go into public and act that way, then that's really truly who he is, and he wants people to know that's who he is. He's only faking it behind closed doors because you are his family. Can't anyone see through that? And can't anyone see that his actions have just trickled down to his son? Take a look at this clip and tell me where you think Don Jr. learned that this kind of behavior is okay. Take a look. Guy, what do you think? Getting makeup make me look sexy like you? I think you look very beautiful. Thank you, Kai. I'm glad you think I look very beautiful. <laughs> I don't do this often, but in HD, you better do it. You know what, folks? I'm not going to lie. I have absolutely partied in my lifetime, okay? I truly have. And there's people out there that could say, hey, Brando, I remember when you used to burn down every dive bar in our part of the world. I absolutely did. But one thing I've never done is call my daughter sexy. One thing I've never done is say that I would like to be dating her if she wasn't my daughter. I've never uttered those words nor had that thought because it's totally fucking sick. 
But Don Jr. sees daddy acting that way. He sees him talking that way about his own sister. And now he talks that way about his own daughter. And now CNN and the mainstream media is going out of their way to try to rebrand this, that these are different people behind the scenes. It does not matter how they act behind the scenes. It doesn't matter. Because in public, they're okay with promoting that type of behavior. In public, they're okay with people thinking that of them. In public, they're okay with empowering other men to be that way. So CNN's lame-ass attempt here to rebrand Trump is bogus. But go read the whole article, and you be the judge. I mean, they do point out the stuff that he's been found liable of sexual abuse, and they, they do point out the things that he's said and done. But then they circle back to tell you that once upon a time, he gave his granddaughter some chocolate candy. John Wayne Gacy bought people lunch beforehand, okay? It's not the flex they think it is. It's just not, folks.